Good morning and welcome to the Eucharistic celebration. Good morning, Father. We are coming to the end of 2020. We are celebrating together. In this time, God, for all the blessings we are received in this year. First of all, let us remember all those who helped us in our life. And we can think about what all good things we have we, we could do and we have done in this year. And in today's Mass, let's also remember Moshe and Maria Mosca. <coughs> in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, you my brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of the all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that the news of the nativity in the flesh of your only begotten Son may set us free. For in shame's servitude holds us bound beneath the yoke of sin, to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Enjoy. Worship the Lord in holy splendor. Tremble before him, all the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. The world is firmly established. It shall never be moved. Let heaven and earth exalt in joy. He will judge.
touch the peoples with equity. Let the heavens be glad and let the earth rejoice. Let the sea roar and all that fills it. Let the field exult and everything in it. Let heaven and earth exult and joy. Hallelujah, hallelujah. A holy day has dawned upon us. Come, you nations, and adore the Lord. Today a great light has come upon the earth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, Lord. The parents of Jesus came to Jerusalem to present the child Jesus. In the temple there was also a prophet, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel, of the tribe of Asher. She was of great age, having lived with her husband seven years after her marriage, then as a widow, to the age of 84. She never left the temple but worshipped there with fasting and prayer night and day. At that moment she came and began to praise God and to speak about the child to all who were looking for the redemption of Jerusalem. When they had finished the everything required by the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Yesterday's Gospel will be said about Simeon, founded by the Holy Spirit, and going to the temple and, and bringing the when Jesus was brought to the temple. Today, in this Gospel, it is said of Anna that she never left the temple. She lived in the temple serving God night and day with fasting and prayer. We could speak of her as a contemplative. When she saw the child Jesus, she broke into the prayer of praise and spoke about the child to all who were waiting for God's deliverance. Normally, when we hear the term serving God, we think instinctively of various forms of good works. But in today's Gospel, it suggests that prayer and fasting also forms of, are also forms of serving God. We may not always think of prayer as an act of serving God. Anna spent her time in the temple praying and yet she was as much a servant of God as those who serve God by doing the all kinds of good works. Mary, the gospel we see Mary who sat at Jesus' feet and listened to his word was serving him as much as Martha was. To pray is to serve the Lord because when we pray, we give the Lord our time, our 
our focus, our attentions, we give him everything, ourselves are fully to God. So what we must do, we have to change our mode of prayer. Every Sunday we are announcing about the book, I Heard God Love. <clears throat> In that book, on page 23, I think, Matthew Kelly speaks about the transformation. So we must change the mode of prayer to listen up God, your servant is speaking. This is the usual mode of our prayer. Listen up God, your servant is speaking. So from that mode we have to change, transform to speak Lord, your servant is listening. Speak Lord. Your servant is listening. So this will help us to serve God and our fellow beings in this proper way. Because when we listen to God, we will be led in the proper way to serve our fellow beings. Amen. <coughs> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands, which will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer, the fruit of the wine, and work of the human hands, which will become our spiritual grace. Let it be God forever. <laughs> my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and words may be acceptable <coughs> to God, your mighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all the Holy Church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, for a Father, our mighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through Him, the holy exchange that restored our life has shown forth today in splendor. When our frailty is assumed by your word, not only does human mortality receive an ending honor, but by this wondrous union we too are made eternal. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy. Holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the white house. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the Lord of all holiness. Make holy day for his gifts. We pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew for, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave to his disciples to say, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of God. The mystery of faith. We proclaim when your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Then for us we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with our Pope Francis and our Bishop Christian and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, for we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, his spouse, with blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be poised to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> At the Savior's command and formed by divine teachings, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from your evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace, I leave you my peace with you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant that peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Love of God, you take, take away the sins of the world, of God, have mercy on us. I am of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, and grant us peace. Behold. 
for the love of God we call him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the love. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only take the word, and my soul shall be given. Glory of Christ. Amen.
the effects of his power in our hearts, that we may be made fit to receive your gift through this very gift itself, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. As is ended, go in peace. Thanks be to God. Have a nice and happy day. Thank you, Father. Thank you.